Abusia, the five northern region. Ajeken or Hene a Japon and Nisu Ade Hunu no Atumu Prekope. Omochri Muse said the Aken or Hene a Japon a Sia Chre Quine A or Be Faso or Be Build the Factories or Be Build the Industries or Be Improve Agriculture. Ewa the five northern region no Ato or Mwakuma so Papa Paye. Na Ebe Bua Ama E Mabunu Ne Nipa A or Mwa North and Soso Enya Jumaye. Abwa ama gana etu mpon. Nise enti. Ato omu ako maso. Na eye omu de papa hapa yese. Keno hine Japon. Eti miya gen omu hon. Akaye omu. E hunu kwa ya. Obe fasoa. Obe si omu hao ano. Inti. Ohe mpon ke siye pa. A oda de five northern region. Nunyi na ano. E de enijie. Ache ken o hine e Japon. Asasi yantam. Sekeno hine Japon, diya fudu ya pa, ene yipinyano. Wenisu ya di hunu, wakuma pa, a uwoma the five northern region. Jia sasi yantami, ni diya opese wode yibia, na odebua the five northern region. Na amana maini wia sinyi na tumi baha, babe ye juma. Ansu wawu, ya sansu eyi FM station ke siye pa bako, a e watermeli, edi ama keno hine Japon. Se, Omon fanye campaign, ema keno hine Japon. Omon fwe ni keno hine Japon hon adanse pa. Omon fan chre chre gana fwone no fwona. Omon hunu inyuma pa ni agen pa. A ewa keno hine Japon mo. Sadi ebe ya November 4th. Gana fwo NPP grassroot. NPP delegate. Ebe tuwa ba amano. Amana ba ba ye the next president of the Republic of Ghana. Na no fwon so so etimye tu mpon. Ono bo kene hine Japon ako FM station ho, ako ako grant interview. Yebe ko, ni ako ako tie interview no. Ne FM station kwa, ye yidi ama keno hine Japon. A, omo de babe ye campaign amano. Eha, e yi wia for Ken TV. Bo moden se over subscribe na wa share link no. We are welcome your excellency. Thank you very much. And once again, thank you for all the help you've given me. I've heard a lot about you, the mm. way... You use your station to propagate my agenda. First, uh, I want to apologize. You know, I'm in the hands of Alaji Baba Kujegu. So where he says go, then I go. If I ask him, he's here. When he said we should go to the first, I say, is it the station that I've been speaking on my behalf? Then he said, no, we'll go there this evening. Mm. That was my plan. Okay. Yeah. Today is the last of the region. Mm -hmm. But I decided that it's good to come for the last time. Yes. There are so many media houses that are giving me pressure mm. for him to come there. I said, no, when we start home, there should be the last place that we have to go. Oh, so oh. I to this point. Then I think so the, it was the, a plan it wasn't the level. The listeners will now be okay. Thank you. I received a lot of calls and <laughs> I was even surprised. <laughs> uh, yes. So, um, I, I was on a question. Uh, how, what do you have observed about my people uh, around here? You know, to tell you the truth, yes, it has been very exciting moments all the three days I've been here. But what I see as a challenge in the five northern regions is employment opportunity. Mm. And I don't see why with this fl flat arable lands God has given us our politicians in the north and the whole country cannot utilize all the lands we have to develop this area. It's so disappointing mm. that when you come here people are not doing well because there are no jobs. When we have all these lands, we can have mechanized farming, agro-processing, and there will be a lot of activities in the five northern regions. Look, I observed something. When I was going to Bolga area, Upper East, from Tamale Airport, all the way to Bolga, Pusiga, Paga, the landscape, is the same the terrain is the same which means it's very good for landscape farming and agro processing but you don't see a single factory here 
and it's sad. I think those who are listening to me, if you are not a delegate and you know a delegate, tell him to vote for Honorable Kenny Japan, a man with a vision, a man who is ready to develop the five northern regions. Mm. You lack a lot of things. Meanwhile, you have a lot of gifts. So what you are lacking is good leadership. Mm. The people you vote for, NDC, MPP, I don't see why they should not be able to market the five northern regions. On, on this issue, we have uh, a very good lander. God has blessed us with it, yet uh, we are not losing it. I will come back to it in the middle of our conversation. But have you tested TZ before too? Uh, have you tested TZ since you're coming to the north, uh, trying to test how we make our TZ here? You may be taking the, TZ from the southern yeah, part. This time I have, mm. but the last time I did, maybe this evening I'll take TZ. Alaya, I think you need to take uh, His Excellency to the house so that uh, Mamria will give him a very good uh, 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 dry Ma, okra. It's a food that I enjoy every Sunday mm. when I'm in Kumasi. Tea set. Mm. <laughs> I special order. And they'll bring in a lot of people who come to my hotel and we eat. So as for tea set, it's one of my favorites. Yes, Your Excellency, hey, you have uh, been to our home, our house. You have visited the overlord of Dogbang. And we have seen that you have gone to a number of places. But to me, the most important place is the visiting our overlord. And uh, when you went there, we, we saw that uh, you, you donated a pickup uh, truck or a, a, a lorry to the palace. What is the reason behind it? Is it just uh, you want to make campaign go through or? You know, let me tell you. I was here in 2020. I went to Yendi. To campaign but before that i went to meal mm. and i gave the meal is that how you call it yes i gave him a pickup so when i got to yana i told him that the next time i'll step foot here in hindi i also bring a lung cruiser mm. no, but with this campaign i'm not able to bring the lung cruiser but at least have to redeem the pledge. Mm. That's why I came with the pickup. So it's not that I'm campaigning. I promised him three years ago, 2020. Mm. And he remembers vividly when he went when we went there. He narrated the story. So it's not look whether I win or not, I really don't care. What I believe in is what I believe in. And I always want to honor my promise. So First of all, a super delegate who is gone. Sorry, go primaries, MPP primaries. It's not general election, mm. but maybe I'll go to Yana for it. But because I promised him three years ago, mm. I wanted to fulfill that promise. That is why I brought it. Yes. What message of assurance can you give to the people of the North? As you have said that uh, we, ha we have been blessed by God. We have arable land. Uh, we have land that can contain factories, yet it is not being used. We have heard a lot of stories like uh, Yetisikasu uh, come there, yes, yes, yes. Uh, come but uh, there. Ghanaians are thinking that uh, they have had a failed promise uh, in, in, in your government. Excuse me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, what word of assurance will you give to us? Uh, the see, North? What I want the people of the North to know that Two people are never the same. Mm. And what me makes me different or stand out among all politicians in the history of Ghana politics is that there had not been a single politician who had come to contest and even be president that is a businessman or entrepreneur. I am entrepreneur. I'm very creative. I have creative mind. So when I was going from Tamale Airport to Bolaga. I look at my left, my right, ahead and back. Mm. And right there, I know what I can do in this area. Namtom, Kushegu area that I visited, Naregu, 
all those places, Walawale, all the way to Bolaga. I know what I'm going to do. And I'll do it differently. Because, look, I'm talking do. Mm. I don't like fake promises. Um, I will come and ask you, what have you talked and have done? Yes, I'm, I'm yet to come there. Mm. Right. Yes, but there's this notion that uh, a businessman is always searching for where profit is. Exactly. And this is going to be a, the first time a businessman is going to rule uh, the country Ghana if uh, by God's grace we have given you the nod to do so. Is it not going to be the notion profit making uh, yeah. venture? It, it should be a profit making venture. To, honor, uh, to his excellency to the government the to the country not to me not the president no not the president okay. i will manage the affairs of this country just as i manage my business so it's a plus i don't need any money all what god has blessed me with why should i come and embezzle the funds no way but i'll manage our resources prudently so that we benefit from it I mean, the way we are running this country and managing the affairs of the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to tell you the truth. Mm. It is not the best. It is not the best. Read my lips. So, I have to come and make sure... Look, I'll use patriotism, honesty, and discipline mm. to change the fortunes of this country. You have to be patriotic. And if you are patriotic, I don't know if you are Christian. In the Bible, it says the Ten Commandments. Mm. The second one says, love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. So if you love this country as yourself, you will not steal from the country. Your Excellency, what have you talked and have done that? A lot. Let me give you one example. I'm talking to you. Your Tamale interchange. Tamale interchange. Do you know those who brought the Tamale interchange? Anybody. Anybody listening to me should listen carefully. We went to China. Our leader of the group was the vice president. And we went looking for investors and money. First, we put a package together. We met CDB, China Development Bank, mm. to negotiate. Finally, we arrived at China Railway. China Railway is bigger than Sino Hydro. Mm. But the experience of Sino Hydro in Ghana is far better than China Railway. So when we opted for China Railway, they couldn't deliver. So they came back to Sino Hydro, which I and my partner represent Sino Hydro in this country. We have dealt with Sino Hydro way back President the first time. That is Buidam. Mm. It was Sino Hydro that put the loan of $640 million together. So they didn't have any choice than to fall on us. So we organized and put the package together for us to get a $2 billion loan that you benefited from the interchange. So it means it is part of your working yes. and doing. Yes. Again, hmm. President Kufo's time, myself and my partner, again, we organized the Bui Dam, the $640 million. Again, we organized the biggest loan Ghana ever had that time, $3 billion. They used that loan, part of the loan, to construct the Ghana gas. Mm. Ghana gas. P please uh, forgive my ignorance. Is, is it the loan you got and ate Kenke? No, I didn't eat Kenke. <laughs> <laughs> this is a loan mm. that helped Ghana to build Ghana gas. Mm. They used 1.2 billion out of the 1.3 billion dollars. So if you get a man who can negotiate, mm for a government to get this money. I mean, you don't underestimate such a person. Mm. But if, not because I'm contesting, you wouldn't even know that I'm behind all these loans. Mm. Okay? Mm. And if I say talk and do, I am talking to. First, in Tamale here, 
during the Dumso era, when doctors at the Tamale Teaching Hospital were using torch lights to conduct operation, when I heard the news, I immediately organized the generator for uh, Tamale Hospital. When I came here, and the chief in Tamale here set up educational fund. Mm. Educational fund. At that time, I donated 10000 to his fund. Today, as I speak, I know for a fact that no politician, both NDC and PP, has contributed even a PESWA or a CD into that fund. So I'm talking to you, look, I have the biggest coal store in the whole Africa. I challenge myself when I question why all steel plants in this country are owned by foreigners. I'm going to do it. I have built the biggest steel plant in the whole West Africa, not Ghana alone. The whole West Africa. Come. If you are doubting Thomas, come. I will go with you. I took Doc there. He was amazed. And all these things I'm telling you, my brother, no loan. Wow. Nothing. Everything. Cash. Hmm. Wow. Yes, I've, I've never taken a loan before. Hmm. Banks are listening to me. If I have taken a loan from any bank, they should come and tell the whole Ghana hmm. that Canada Japan took a loan. Yes. Everything hmm. that I've done on this earth, Ghana here, yes. no loan. And that is exactly what I'm going to do in the five northern regions. Yana has promised me a land that, sorry, Narugu. No, this place. Sablugu. Sablugu. Then the Tolo chief has also promised a land. You see, if I get those lands, what I'm going to do? Look, I started farming for a uh, sugar cane. I'm giving you a story. Sugar cane at mm. Dutch Commander. Unfortunately, when we were paying compensation, they didn't like it. They said the money was too small. And they burned the farms. Mm. So I was in Cape Coast that time. And through the help of Eduma, the fire service, we quenched the fire. When I came back the next day to report to my partner what transpired, there was a chief in our office who was the chief of Prime. He heard the story as, oh, how? You come to North Bruno East, have a vast land. And we went there. He gave us 125,000 acres. Wow, wow, wow. 125,000 acres. We have cultivated 30,000 acres cassava. Wow. We have built a starch plant, 300 tons a day. At a table we, are mm. we have employed 960 permanent workers. Then prime, we have built another starch plant, 200 tons a day, which will be commissioned in December. So if I tell you I'm going to do it, my brother, I'm going to do it. When you go to my constituency, mm. I have built the biggest orange and pineapple oh, fruits um, processing. Mm. We export them to Spain and Brazil, the concentrate. I've done a lot in this country. The, the, and sometimes uh, you don't know. So when I saw the land here, I said, Jesus Christ. Why should 12-year-old girls, 13-year-old girls migrate to the south? Kumase, Accra, for Kayo, when we have this land here. Why should we get our 17-year-old boys going to the south to be houseboys? Then if you come in, in office as president of the uh, the country, uh, you will make our land show down. Oh yes, I'm going to utilize the land here. Look, let me tell you something. Mm. On the more serious note, your land is good for sugar cane. You don't even know. The temperature here, during the day is very hot. In the night is cool. That's the temperature sugar cane survives. Honorable, but you don't uh, have that experiment. You don't even yes. know. Mm, I'm, I'm very surprised you, you have mentioned this uh, knowledge from uh, agriculture <laughs> I, I, I have really in fact uh, I am dumbfounded I'm sorry yes it is good for sugar cane yes what of cocoa 
Coco, I've not done the experiment, mm. so I won't come alive. Yes, around here to share butter, uh, share nut trees. I'm coming to that. Okay. Here, you are wasting the nature and the gift God has given you. From Tamale Airport again, all the way to Pusiga, everywhere, you see share nut trees. My son, here, mm. he sits here. He buys share butter from here, 27 cities a kilo. Sell it on American market for $34 a kilo. $34 a kilo, when you convert it today, is 404 cities. And you don't have a factory here to process it. What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with the whole Ghana, the leaders too? On my way from Gamango to Bali, my driver is a Dagomba guy from Nantum. Yeah. He gave me a fruit. Said, taste it. When I tasted it, it was so sweet. I said, what is it? He said, they call it Tama. Mm. And I asked him, so do you have Tama fruit juice in this area? He said, no. They have never said, what? What a waste. Tama fruit juice. Yes. Fruit juice. And if you allow me to be president, I'm going to process the Tama into juice. Token too. We can mix it with pineapple, you can mix it with banana, you can mix it with apple, you can mix it with any fruits, and it's organic. And organic fruits are more expensive than what we produce and make it concentrate. Your Excellency, should we consider all of those you are saying as promises for us in the yes. of Ghana? Yes, yes. Look, when, when I sit in the car and I look left and right, then I don't know what to say. Jeez. Damn, how can we say we are poor? Hmm. And this is easy. Because you are here. Tamale here and Bol uh, Burkina is here. Burkina is producing tomatoes and onions. And so exporting it here. Hmm. And we have the same temperature. And you can produce tomatoes. You mm -hmm. can't produce onion. Wow, I got a problem. Yes, yes. Where, <laughs> inshallah, when you come to office, come uh, next elections, inshallah, we will be looking to you to come and fulfill those promises you you have made to us. Your Excellency, corruption has been a very tough issue in Ghana. If for God's sake. You have been the president of Ghana. How are you going to tackle this particular uh, tragedy we are seeing in our motherland? Look, you see, first of all, leadership by example. I will not chop Ghana money for you to chop. Mm. I won't. So if you make a mistake, you are fired and you will jail you. Should I make a meaning out of what you are saying that some people are chopping Ghana money and giving the citizens a chance to chop. Yeah, of course. Because if you see this chief executives and all those things, you see, when I say this, don't put up your mind to only politicians. The civil servants are equally guilty. Equally guilty. So there should be discipline in the system. When there's discipline, we can eliminate corruption. Not completely. There's nowhere in the world that they've been able to eliminate corruption completely. But we we'll reduce it drastically so that the money that has to come into government coffers will get it and use it for development. Your Excellency, excuse me. Do you think the office of the President has achieved its aim? Excuse me. Well, for the first four years, the office did marvelously well. Office of the Prosecutor, Special Prosecutor. Oh, you mean Office of the Prosecutor? Yes, the Special Prosecutor. But I, I, honestly speaking, I don't follow him. I don't. I want to bring money into my pocket is no Special Prosecutor. So I don't even, honestly, me, I don't even check what they are doing. <laughs> and I make sure I do the right thing, so hey, hey, whether he's there or not. Yes. Uh, let, I really <laughs> don't care. Excuse me, I'm going to take you back to what has uh, passed. Uh, during the special or after the special delegates conference, 
did it come how you expected it or you were surprised with the outcome? No, I was surprised with the outcome. To be honest with you, mm. I knew the vice president was going to win the super delegates. I won't lie to you. I knew. Because they have whipped all chief executives, MPs, anybody who matters were whipped. Okay? Mm. Against other candidates. So, I knew he was going to win. But I didn't expect that huge margin. <coughs> so, I was surprised that, wow, people actually, because of fear, money, and everything, will vote for him. Okay, fine. Mm. If that's their decision, then... If his strength is the super delegate, then I'll give them a showdown. Yes, a real showdown. Yeah, the real showdown mm. is the police station executives. <laughs> so this one, when I said showdown, then they thought it was an insult. Now it has become a household name <laughs> all over the place. Yes. You know? yes. So yes. the showdown is November fourth. Yes. So the November fourth showdown. What will you, well, what will we be expecting from? Yeah, you'll be expecting the grassroots defender hmm. emerging as the leader wow. of the MPP party. His Excellency, you see, he, I, I've been here, <laughs> and you say Excellency, Excellency. It will come to pass. Inshallah. Yes. Ninety-seven point three MHC Bangu FM. It has been with uh, His Excellency uh, Kennedy Akumpreko Ajepong in the studios of ninety-seven point three MHC. Uh, with myself, uh, Suleiman Bawa Ibrahim. Uh, you can call me Mr. Bawa. Having that particular interaction with uh, His Excellency and. Uh, well, yes, His Excellency, uh, we will come to look uh, on on issue concerning the youth. I want us to uh, hammer much on the issues of the youth before I will ask for your final words and uh, we stepping out of the studio. In fact, there are many potentials, different kinds of potentials in the youth, especially in the northern in the northern Ghana, and it could be observed or you can observe that uh, many times or many a time that uh, a, a person from or persons from northern Ghana are given chance in the southern parts of the country or even outside Ghana and the results that is coming out is overwhelming meaning the youth around here I'm not saying you've in other areas do not have potentials but it is like our youth around here are being looked down upon by by many in the same region or outside, outside the region okay. of, 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 of Ghana outside yeah. Tamale or outside northern region it's like many people have looked down upon our youth and many potentials are dying what assurance uh, can you give to us uh, uh, so that the youth will know that if you come to be in the present of a country, they will be elevated? You see, my sole aim of coming to contest this election is mainly with the youth and the women. The youth of this country are feel so guilty that for the past 23 years, that have been a member of parliament, Bongo, uh, part of government, ups and downs, we've not been able to reduce unemployment rate, the youth unemployment. I feel guilty in the sense that I have kids, girls especially, who ranges between 21 to 26, and they all finish university at the age of 20, 21. And immediately they complete university in America. You're the Americans. 20 year old girl gets a job, a salary of $120,000. Mm. 20 year old girl, 22 year old girl makes about $170,000 with Google. She works with Google. And I sit here, and the youth of this country, not only the North, seven years, six years, five years, no job.
and they are at home. Their parents are feeding them. That has been my aim of coming to create. You hear everything I say is employment, 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 industry, industry, industry. If we don't create these industries and employment, how would you absorb the youth that are coming? But answer to your question is that I always say that if you sell yourself cheap, they will buy you cheap. Okay? Mm. Without due respect to the people in the north, if you say they don't respect you outside, and it is because of the nature of the job you do. Okay? In America, they don't respect the blacks. The white don't respect the blacks because of one, our behavior and the kind of jobs we do. Here, I have Dr. Anamza here. He's a lecturer, dean of sociology, head, right? Head of, head of sociology in the University of Ghana. What makes you think people from the north are inferior? They are not. It is opportunity that you don't get, that you think that you are inferior. But if you get majority of your girls migrating to the south, only to be doing kayo, have no place to sleep, and they sleep on the roadside. You ask them, where are you from? I'm from Naregu, I'm from Sandema, I'm from here. What impression would they create? Hmm. That is why I'm saying that if you vote for Kene Japan, girls of 12, 13 years migrating to the south to be kayo will be 10 of the past. Because I've created employment that you don't even need to go there. Mm. Again, with all due respect to you again, I'm just answering your question. Yes. You asked. Mm. Most of your young boys eh, who go to the south, you see them as house boys. Mm. These are some of the things why you feel they don't respect you. If you don't get a kind-hearted person like in Japan who feels every human being is a human being irrespective of his position you have to accord him with respect and you get somebody who does not respect human beings to be your master the way he will treat you okay so you will feel that ah, why are not necessary but we have to blame the politicians here too Read my lips. The I'm not afraid. Here. Yes. In the five northern regions, if I were God, which I'm not, if I'm God, I'll put them on the table and lash all of them. <laughs> From NDC, NDP, NDC, MPP, and and lash CPT, all of them. PSC, I'll lash all of them. So, oh, oh, and I'll squeeze their ears and say, you, I've given you the whole world to use. <laughs> and we are messing up. I'm giving you last chance. If you mess up again, you see what will happen. So, to you. so our, our, our own Baumia, you would have. I said everybody. <laughs> I will not be specific to yes. one person, but I'm saying everybody. Mm. I'm not afraid because when I see the land here, you grow a uh, rice, Nanton here, from this, eh? mm. and we are importing rice, seven hundred million dollars a year. If you are an MP, you can sell your constituency to the rest of the world, taking pictures of the land and everything, marketing it, and you see the number of investment that will come here. Your Excellency, yeah. say something to the delegates before we we'll wrap up. So I'm begging the delegates that when you are going to vote, don't vote for anybody that will say that he's from your place and cannot create jobs for you. Don't vote for people for money. Vote for a man who will bring development so that you will you'll be employed and you have respect at home from your family. Whatever money you are going to take or you are used to influence you is temporary. Maximum one month it will be done. It will be finished. Then you come to square one. They've been with you for seven years. All the hard work of the delegates. No reward. Only Kenya Japan who has been fighting for the police station executives and the grassroots in MPP. 
That is why I've decided to come and save the lives of the ordinary people. I've also been enticed with money and positions to step down. But because of you delegates, I refused to take the money. I thought it was rumor. I, I, I was in rumor. I'm telling you. You know the number of times I've been approached to step down and take money? You know the number of times big people have called me to negotiate with me to step down and be the vice? I said no. I don't want us to go to a position because of Ghana. Because Mahama will not do anything different. But Ghanaians are fed up with what is going on to extend that whether you are a good candidate or not. Why are we saying we want to break the eight? Hmm. Why are we saying we want to break the eight? Hmm, they are going we, to break the eight because there is planting for food and jobs. And uh, we have also been told that uh, one of your op opponents from the northern Ghana, that he has, he has done some, he has created jobs for the people of, of the whole country. Uh, because there is this notion that he has done virtually nothing for the northern Ghana where he no, But you say he has created jobs, well, jobs in Ghana. He should benefit plant, from that. Planting for food and jobs is part of the, yeah, job, the things he has created. Planting for food? Yes. What food do you have here? <laughs> what food? <laughs> this maize, they, 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 they are so small. Let's go to America and see a maize farm mm. and the yield. When you have to irrigate all these lands here, they will tell you irrigation is expensive. Please let me don't let me go into details. Okay, okay. But I'm telling you, I'm going to irrigate most of the lands here, so that 365 days in South Africa, 365 days you have fresh corn. Mm. You have fresh corn. What are we doing? Okay, Your Excellency, you, your final words before we. So my final words to the people of the north that they shouldn't lose hope. Two people are never the same. Can a Japan? who is from the south, is coming to create job opportunities for the northerners, for them to get respect. If they don't believe me, they should compare Kwame Nkrumah from the western region, what he did for the people of the north, and compare Dr. Hilal Iman Mahama, Aliu Mahama, and Vice President, the four northerners, what they have, put them together, mm. and compare them to Kwame Nkrumah, what he did for the people of the northern region. I am going to beat Kwame Nkrumah's record if you give me an opportunity. So, God bless you and believe in Ken. Development, development, development. Inshallah. Industry, industry, industry. God bless you. We are very grateful.